Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Of course I'm here with the cutest boy in the whole wide world, Mr. Unga! What do you think, handsome fella? Guess what, Angara? Oh, look how big he is. Oh. I was holding his hand the other day and I was uh, his hand has gotten so big and it's starting to get a lot of color to it. See that? I do not know yet if he's going to end up with Volley's face or Sagriva's face. Some of them turn just black, like deep black, black as this, every single piece of their skin. And some of them stay a little bit pinky, like, I don't know what you call that color. So Volley is entirely black and Sagriva's still kind of pink. So we'll see, huh? What do you think? I don't know. Anyway, I got off track. Angara. Santa Claus is coming to town. Santa Claus is coming to town. Are you excited for Santa? Yeah. So normally Santa comes like Christmas Eve for all the human primates, but I guess he's like a little busy this year. So he's coming a little bit early for the non-human primates, huh? And you want to go see Santa? So I thought I would talk to you maybe a little bit like about our traditions at our house because maybe ours were a little bit different. So we always had an orange in our stocking and I had no idea why. For some reason my parents didn't buy oranges. Like, I don't know, we didn't eat them. But so every Christmas there was an orange. Every time I smelled an orange, I thought of Christmas and I was like, is this, is this a weird thing? Am I the only one that's like got oranges for Christmas? So I Googled it. There's a couple of different ideas. One is like, I think it was maybe during the Great Depression or something. It was like an incredible gift to give someone. And the other was that like St. Nicholas, I guess threw some gold through some people's window that needed it and that that orange signifies the gold. Did you guys hear anything else? I don't know. Anyway, that was what I got from a quick Google search. I also, on accident, found that there's an anti-Santa and we probably don't need to actually go into that. He's a bad guy, but I guess for every good guy, there's always a bad guy. I don't know. So in the mornings, we used to open our presents, but we were really bad kids. <laughs> We would find the presents like weeks or even months before Christmas um, from my parents, obviously. And um, what would happen was we would like sneak in, open them, whatever. So my mom started numbering them. There was a number on every gift. And then she wouldn't put the, Christ the presents out until late that night uh, before Christmas. And we had to pick a number. So I'd get number one and she'd look at her little chart. Number one is Sherilyn. Um, <laughs> that's funny. So that's how we did it. And we ate Abel Skyvers. That's what we had for breakfast. We had the most enormous breakfast ever for Christmas. And then we just ate kind of like snacks and whatever was in our stocking. There was always nuts in our stocking. Not a lot of candy. My parents weren't super into candy. So do you guys want to like add any of your Christmas traditions, uh, whether they were normal or weird like mine? Just add some comments down there. Actually, Jack, we should add some of the Abel Skyvers. I made those with Angara one year and maybe just some of his past Christmases. I don't know if we recorded his first Christmas because we didn't start this channel till after Christmas, I don't think. Oh, that's a cool one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no way. <laughs> a quick easy way of like figuring out if an animal can see in color is basically if they eat fruit. If they eat fruit, they can see in color because they need to be able to see whether it's ripe or not, right? Pour it and stick. You got. <laughs> Do you want me to help? Oh, he got it! He got it! Come here, handsome. I'm gonna. I think Santa's upstairs. Oh, oh, oh. Look at this big present he's got. 
got this. Oh, ho, 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 ho. let's get it open. Come yes, on, get it, get let's it, get, get it, it open. Going. Let's get it open. Yes, yes, <laughs> we're trying. Oh no, it looks like a swimming pool. What? It's a pool. I'm gonna go swim. Oh my god. It's yes. December and I'm wearing a tank top. It is so hot here. We're gonna have to go into the pool. You ready? Yeah! <laughs> what else did you get on that? I've got some new stocking. Where do you go? Exactly. See, that's good stuff. What to bring all the apes, huh? What else did you get? Oh, <gasps> a look, blankie? Look at that. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yes. He's always oh, filling my oh, blankies. There, there's something in there. <laughs> there's something in there. What else did you get? Oh, oh, oh. What's this? Some nuts? Some oh. raw mixed nuts? Oh. Mm -hmm. You gotta <clears throat> open it. Got some pistachios and almonds. And They're all gonna hit the ground. Oh, an apple! <laughs> That's oh, Molly's favorite. Oh, how does that go? Happen? How does I'm gonna open an orange? So Volley opens an orange by smashing it with his fist. What else does Santa bring in? I think that's it, Amanda. You ate. You ate some banana. You ate all of the squeezy. I guess he opens it a little bit more like Sagriva. And now I'm gonna eat a boot. <laughs> guess what? Guess what I heard? I heard that Santa got a candy cane for Bum Bum! <gasps> Should we go get Bum Bum a candy cane? Santa, what did you bring Bum Bum? Bubbles, she's one of my favorite people here on the safari. I had to get her the <gasps> biggest candy cane possible. She is nine feet tall and 9,000 pounds, so I guess you brought her uh, candy Hopefully cane. Hopefully, right this size. will be enough. <laughs> Hopefully. Let's go give it to Bob Bob. Hey, Bob Bob. Look what I have for Santa's you. Yeah. Hello, my friend. Ah. Hello. Ah. So you, can put oh. it, you can put it on your tongue. Oh, look at oh, that. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh nice. yes. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. She's got it. That's a good girl. Good girl. So if you look right here, she's actually taken her trunk and she's closed it off. Every time she gets something that she absolutely loves, it's like she doesn't want air to like take away the flavor. So you can see her little cheeks just pumping away in there. Yeah, she bit it. A lot of people have asked, oh, she saved a piece down here. A lot of people have asked if she has teeth. She has teeth, they're just way back. She has four teeth here, four teeth here, four teeth here, and four teeth here. As she gets older, she actually gets to go through six or seven sets of teeth in her lifetime. We only get to go through two. So they eat branches, like literally, she'll eat a branch this big, and that wears down her teeth faster than of course we go through teeth, because we're not eating anything like a branch. What do you think? Did you try to steal some of Bub Bub's candy cane? You did, you big silly boy. <laughs> Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas from Myrtle Beach Safari! <laughs> Come for a wild time! I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed making it. If you haven't, why not? 